Animal rescue is labor of love for Orlando couple. Running an animal rescue has become a labor of love for one Orlando couple. Nick and Oli Yakakin host up to 20 dogs and 20 cats at a time at Second Chance Animal Rescue and Sanctuary, which they run out of their Orlando home caring for them with the help of volunteers. What you need to know. A husband and wife team run Second Chance Animal Rescue and Sanctuary out of their home. Second Chance cares for up to 20 dogs and 20 cats at a time. Nick and Ali Yaka say they work at it about 100 hours per week. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. More people are giving up their pets but fewer are adopting this year, Nick Yaka says. For a handful of animals, the Yaka's house is their forever home. They won't be adopted out because of severe medical needs or behavioral issues. Running the rescue is a full-time job, except it doesn't pay the bills donations, and adoption fees only cover about 30% of the rescue's budget, Nick said. He and his wife cover the rest. We average about 100 hours per week. Nick said of the amount of work he and his wife put in to run the rescue. He said they do freelance work when they can to help make up the difference. When he and Ali first met, Nick said they knew not loving animals would be a deal breaker in a relationship. Within an hour of our first date, I asked her if she loved dogs or not he said, and she laughed because she had four already and I had two so that quickly became six. Some animals they rescue are surrendered by their owners and others are saved from backyard breeders and dog fighting rings, Nick said. Flower has a broken tail he said, referencing a puppy from a new litter they took in recently. She's got skin issues due to flea bites. It's heartbreaking to see the conditions of some of the animals, but they come out of their shells and become whole new animals over time thanks to socializing, Nick said. The wags, all the wiggle butts that we get here, keep us going Ali said. We love that we're taking care of them, and they're in a safe place. Nick said that while he has noticed more people surrendering their animals this year, adoption numbers are down.